And Christian Biraji. Christian Biraji. Oh, <laughs> What a finish, Chimmy Avia. It is 3 1. Brilliant stuff there. Fiorentina have had a mixed season so far. They showed a lot of potential, but they're looking to get some things done in the market. They've highlighted some areas for improvement, namely the winger situation, as well as potentially bringing in another midfielder. First off, they're looking at Mikkel Damsgaard, who's been playing a trade at Sampdoria. The Danish winger is a big talent. He's been doing very well for them. He can play all across the front line. Exciting player. They've also taken a trip to Brazil where they're looking at Thales Magno. The wonder kid of sorts from Vasco da Gama, the winger. Exciting young player. They're going to decide between which one of these wingers makes the most sense for the team. In terms of midfielders, they are looking at Orkun Kokchu, the Turkish midfielder playing for Feyenoord. He was once linked with Arsenal a year ago. Fiorentina keeping their eye on him could add a lot to the midfield. Fiorentina have worked hard in the last six months to secure loan deals for all of their youth team players. Let's check in on where everyone has ended up. Ja Valente, the Portuguese holding midfielder, he's off to the MLS. He's playing for the Columbus crew. Zach Powell's in America as well with Atlanta United. Dimo Krastev, as we know from before, he's been at Aston Villa, hasn't had a lot of game time so far, maybe not a successful loan there. Will Boucher recently off to Cardiff City. Tim Stevens, the American, back to the country of his birth, playing for the Philadelphia Union in the MLS. Philip Okoro recently transferred to Sheffield United, where he'll spend a year on loan. Okoro, the captain of the U team, gonna get some experience in the Premier League. Delroy Clark, our left back from Jamaica. He's off to France, he's playing with Nantes, and he's playing there with Jeremy Gauthier, our right back. So, Gauthier, of course, back to his home country, but Delroy Clark and Gauthier are left and right backs on the same team Good to see. And Pietro del Campo, our Italian forward, is at Cremonense in Serie B. All right, guys, press conference time. Gaming with Bert the Legend. Good question here. Do you think Ursulini is drastically showing why he was a world class signing? Yes, indeed. Ricardo Ursulini has been so good the past few games. Good to see. He struggled a bit to settle early on, but he's been much better recently. He's still not the most fun player to use. Uh, his balance is not as good as you think, and he loses the ball quite a bit. But I think we're going to grow into his game a bit more, understand how to use him, and get the most out of Rossellini. And second here from all football best games, thinking of signing Trincao, Barca don't use him much, or Slimani from Leicester City. Slimani is an interesting one. I don't think I would use Trincao. We already have Rossellini, as I just spoke about. But also, I use Trincao heavily. In my Racing Santander series on this channel, I would like to use different players. So we'll see. But Slimani is someone, I think, maybe for the summer. Every team needs a big forward. You can just throw the ball up to in the air and see what happens. Though Vlahovic has kind of been doing that for us. I don't mind getting a veteran forward in next year. But I think it would be over the summer. We're going to stick with what we have this season. Maybe make a couple shrewd transfers in the window. But next summer, we're really going to look to make a revolution at Fiorentina. All right, guys, let's get into this one. Crotone first, Sampdoria, and then Benevento. And then we end the traps window. We have some deals that we're looking at. Let's see what happens. All right, so here we go. Milenkovic, Ajay, Martinez, Carta. He's tired. We're going to bring in Igor. Christian Biragi, not Biragi. Shout out to Abhishek Bista, who let me know in the comments that it's Biragi. Always let me know the pronunciation, guys. I want to make sure I get it right. Hammerbat, Atapong, Kastrovini, Dieter Ziegler, the U-team left winger, left back coming in. Ribery, Ursulini, and Cutrone. We're going to give a rest to Chimi Avia. Use him if needed. Let's go take on Crotone. We're playing three at the back. Ricardo Ursulini. Ricardo Ursulini. Ricardo Rossellini! Oh, not a bad effort. Amabat, great defending. Oh, that's a foul. So fan, Amabat taken out, but Jigger doesn't wait for the ref. He keeps playing. And Castrovilli into space. Gaetano Castrovilli brought down into the box. And it will be a free kick here. And this is a great chance for Frank Ribéry. And deflected. Oh, what a stop. Cordaz, that looked destined for the back of the net. He just wonder. Junior Miss. Ah, oh, it's a good ball. 
That's a great pass. And the cross is poor. And Dragowski clears. Oh, Kutrani might get there first. Patrick Kutrani. Oh, what a goal. Patrick Kutrani taking advantage of his opportunity. And Fiorentina up 1-0 after a mistake at the back. Look at this. The ball played long. Ribery just making himself a nuisance. Look at that. A poor header back. Kutrani is faster and stronger than everyone. That's a good finish. 1-0 Fiorentina. Simi. Wider again. Kutrani. Starting the second half off well. Milenkovic, good header. And Ursulini drops back. Touches it in to Amrabat. And maybe a chance here. Oh, my word. Shigarini taking out Sofia and Amrabat. And Amrabat is down. Booking well deserved. And Amrabat is in a lot of pain. And Amrabat is injured. Oh my god. Thank you, Shigarini. We're going to bin in Samuel Riki. And in the space. And back. And wide. And in the space again. Ooh. Dragowski came off his line. Couldn't get to it. Nothing happens though. And it's balls in again. Simi. Dragowski, great stop. Simi again. And it's wide. Ah, they get it wider. Molina. Long boy there. Said, it's played back. Oh my God, oh, Dragowski! What a stop! What a stop! And that's a corner kick. Kotone getting stronger and stronger. It's whipped in, Dragowski. And a bicycle. Oh wow! Over the bar. Mazzotta. Played in. Oh, played it again. What happened? What happened? 1-1. One, one. Oh, my God. What What was that? Oh. Where? I have no idea what just happened. I have no idea what just happened. Malenkovic and Ajer. Just come. What are we doing? Oh, we, we, we seem to have it under control. They were threatening, but I didn't feel too worried. One mistake, and now, look, they may even win the game now. It's whipped in and it's high. Simi's in there. It's 2-1 Katone. I am speechless. Long ball here. Saeed. Oh my God. Ziegler back. He's like nothing matters anymore. Simi again. Let's end this game. I, I'm 2-1 I, Katone. Wow. And Orkun Kokchu comes in as well. A hefty transfer fee. Fiorentina paying 25 million for the midfielder. He is creative. He can play in center midfield and attacking midfield as well. I think he'll be a fan favorite for Fiorentina. With Amrabat now injured, Kokchu will have a big role to play immediately. Playing next to Castrovilli in midfield. Orkun Kokchu coming over to Fiorentina. And Amrabat is injured. He's going to miss the Juventus match, which is unfortunate. He's actually missing quite some time. How long is Amrabat out for? Four weeks. That's a serious injury. So thank God we're bringing in Kokchu. We're going to need him. All right. So this is what we're going for today. Vlahovic, Chimi of the end, Kwame up top, Kastrovili and Pulgar in midfield with Martinez. Ajir Milenkovic at the back. Liorla and Biragi on the wings. Let us go take on Sampdoria. We're going to give a debut to Kokchu today for sure. All right. Let's put that last game behind us. What a poor result against Crotone. Just let it slip late. We will stay focused here as we take on Sampdoria. Gaston Ramirez. And good defending there. Castrovilli finds Liorla. Looks to push it up the wing. Does he have the pace? Yes, he does. The Spaniard doing well. And doing very well. He finds Chimi Avia. Here, Chimi. Chimi's inside. Oh, he's brought down. And that is a penalty. Referee points to the spot. The Argentinian goes down in the box. It's Yoshida, I believe. And Fiorentina have a penalty here in the seventh minute. Chimmy here, cutting inside, playing it back. Clear penalty. Pugar steps up. Buries it in off the post. What a penalty. 1 0 Fiorentina. Great penalty by the Chilean. Oh, that's a big mistake. 
Christine Kwame. Chimmy Avia. Woo! 2 0. Chimmy. Chimmy Avia. What a finish. Fiorentina. Phenomenal start here. They're 2 0 against Amdori after 13 minutes. This is a big mistake at the back. Tonelli, what is he doing? But look at Kuwame's patience. He finds Chimmy. And look at this finish. You can't say that. And Mestres. Oh, Chimmy Avia. Chimmy Avia is in the mood today. Chimmy whips it in. Valvich is in there. Almost three. And Samdoria come the other way. That's good team defending. We got some Ramirez. We'll have a chance to cross here. Back post. Ajer. Christopher Ajer. Oh, wow. He does enough. Kate Baldi can't finish. Ah, Pulgar. Great header. Here, Chimmy. Good ball. Castrovili. Into space. What a pass. And here is Christian Biragi. Biragi whips it in. Well, it's cleared away. And Pulgar. Oh! <laughs> Pulgar. 3 0. 3 0. Pulgar with his second of the match. What a performance from Fiorentina today. They take it into Sampdoria early and often. This one probably goes down as a keeper mistake, but uh, I think he couldn't see the ball. Biragi whips it in. It's cleared, and Pulgar wastes no time. Yeah. The sight of the keeper blocked there by Yoshida, who's having a shocking match. Odero as well. It doesn't matter. Fiorentina, three. Sampdoria nil. Let's see. Yeah, the keeper cannot see the ball. I have to say, one thing that Pez does really well, line up when he, as he slips into the ground, the line of sight for the goalkeeper in Pez is incredible. It's realistic. It happens in real life where keepers can't make saves if they can't see. So that is a nice realistic goal. 3-0. It's too far, but you know what? Pugar's on a hat trick. We're going to take this attempt. He's earned it. Eric right, Pugar. Not a bad free kick. 3-0 at halftime. What a game. Well, with that, we're going to bring on Kokchu at halftime here. For Castrovili. Oh, he has the uh, team spirit thing. That's very good to know. And he's going to be integrated pretty easily. Let's give Castrovili a good rest. I'm trying to find Kokchu for his first touch. Oh, Damsgaard. Ah, uh, there may have been a foul there by Ajer. Not called. Keita Balde. Cuts inside. He's still going. Pulgar. What a challenge. Jared Pulgar. Here's Chimmy. Oh, great football. Chimmy Avia now. Here's Chimmy Avia. And he has so many options. Kristen Kuwame, what a turn. Kristen Kuwame. And here's a first touch for Urkun Kokchu. Does well, Biragi. Back into the Turkish midfielder. Finds Pulgar. And Eric Pulgar. Oh, Daryl, what a stop. Oh, Kokchu. Does very well. And Eric Pulgar. Oh, what a match he's having. Actually, lots of space here for Sampdoria now. Fiorentina needs to stay sharp. Remember the last game? It looked like they had it too. I mean, this is 3-0. I'm not too worried. But you never know. Oh, Mikael Damsgaard! What a stop! What a stop. Kokchu gets it over to Biragi. Christian Kuwame. Vlaovic! Great touch inside! Odero stops it. Corner kick. Berzenski. Keeper. And there you go. We're going to win this 3-0. Very good performance. Took care of it in the first half. Great stuff. Eric Pulgar, who was so incredible in the last match, takes it here. It's a good one. The keeper comes out. Pulgar has another chance. Actually, looking at the top of the box there. Here's Igor. Igor in the space. Pulgar stayed up. Whoops it in. Dalvich gets save. Dabo. Oh my god. Dabo. What a game he's having. And here is Mancini. Whoops it in. Oh. Oh he's missed. Oh we thought we conceded. And somehow Teo has put it wide. Pulgar. Ichisu. Ah. No need to be too fancy here. Dabo's doing well. It's paid in. Good touch. 
What a first touch by Mancini! And Ajapong just has to clear. Benevento come along again. Mancini wins the header. It's Maggio, the former Napoli man. Does so well, Igor. Oh, nope, nope. Good call, ref. Oh my god, Igor, what are you doing? Okay, guys, wake up. Come on. Thank you. Oh, Puga couldn't get it. And Benevento just keep coming. Inside the box now, Milenkovic. Good clearance, and Tchaikovsky has it. And they come back again. We've been full of silly mistakes today. Liola and another one there. Almost. Almost. Oh my god. Okay, come on. Head it back. What are we doing? Oh my god. 1 0. We deserve that. What a. I have no words. Ionita. And. Achapong. Does well. Oh my god, it's a good point inside, deflected, what a save by Dragowski! And Liorla just heads it away, he's actually fouled. It's cleared again, 53rd minute here, still 1-0, Benevento. Usain Vlaovic. Oh, Sally Idrisu! Oh, Manfredini! Oh, Idrisu's man, he's finishing. Alright, double sub here, let's go for it. Boss cleared. Ribery nods it on. Chimiavia. Orsolini. Vlahovic. Dusan Vlahovic. No. Manfredini. Orsolini. Ricardo Orsolini. Ricardo Orsolini takes a strike. It's straight to Manfredini again. Pay in the space. Water. Oh, it's back. And it's Monchi. Mancini. He can't finish it off. And oh, Dragowski stopped it again. He stopped it again! Chico! How did they not finish us off? How did they not finish us off? Mancini! What a stop by Dragowski! And look at this! Milenkovic is sliding! Dragowski again in the third time! Even the fourth time! It's a corner kick! Manfredini who's had a great game in goal. He clears straight to Kokchu. Oh, uh, it's cut out! But Kokchu takes it again! We have so many numbers forward! Or could Kokchu! It's with Kastavili! Oh my god! Wait, Vimeri! Vlahovic! Over the bar! What are we doing? Into Milenkovic. Kastavili into space. Looking for Atapog again. Oh, it's actually crossed in! It misses everyone. Of course it does. Here's Orkun Kokchu. That's well. Vlahovic is in there! Oh, it's headed away. Oh my god. We lose 1-0 to Benevento. Down into ninth place come on and Talis Magno is coming over to Fiorentina they have decided they had bits accepted and they had to figure out who they wanted Talis Magno fits what we're trying to do just a bit more he is 19 years old he comes in for a very cheap fee only about six million he's an incredible dribbler you'll have to adjust to the physicality of Serie A but we're very excited to have him in Talis Magno the latest Fiorentina player He's going to win number 23, the winger. And this is our team for the second half of the season. So a lot of attackers in. There's Tadis Magno now joining the squad. Jose Callejon has not played in forever. But unfortunately, he just hasn't really fit recently. All right, so we're going for this against Sassuolo. A front line I'm not sure if you've seen before. But Sally, Drisu, Kristen Kuwami, and Chimi Villa all up top. Tadis Magno, of course, waiting to make his debut. Lots of options on the bench. Let's go take on Sassuolo. All right, here we go. Sassuolo, Fiorentina. Ijisu. Oh, Chimi Avia. Why not? Whoa. Jeremy Boga. Look at Teddy. Good ball. And Boga is free. Boga gets a cross and header. What a stop from Toby Watson. Here, try already. Caputo. Castrovini tracked back the entire way. That's so well. What's that? No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Christopher Ager! With the most ridiculous on goal! 
we did uh, I'm speechless. Why is he in the way? Why is he in the way? Oh, Toby tried to save it. Wow. Talk about a gift. Toby Watson trying to play to the wing as Jer gets in the way, tries to trap it. And almost saved, honestly. Wow. Pugai Jisu, great ball. Jimmy Avia! Oh, he should have just shot it himself. Trying to find Biragi. Could not. Long ball there, but Lurel did really well. Martinez. Pulgar to Chimmy Avia. What a touch! Catch the Vili! Oh my god, it's saved! Kwame inside! No one can get there! What a clearance! Kwame! Oh, come on! None of those are fouls! Really? Caputo! It's two! Boga Martinez, everyone going for it! We're gonna bring on Jose Cayohan for Paul Liurla. Move him up the pitch. We're going to bring on. We're gonna move Chimia Via back. We're gonna bring on Mr. Vlahovic. Alright, here we go. Corner kick. Obtain well is punched. Christian Biragi. Oh, wow, with the weaker foot. Another corner. Pulga again, Chimmy Avia back post! Chimmy! 1-1! One, one. Look at Avia, just weasels his way there, back post, heads it down. Nice finish. Poor marking. Of course we can win this game. Just have to be smart. Ah, oh, but not like that! Look at Teddy, free! And it's played in Caputo! Oh, it's over the bar! We're gonna replace Pulgar with Thales Magnu. Yes, we're going to play him in attacking midfield and just see what happens. <laughs> All right, so there is a debut for the Brazilian Thales Magno coming on the big signing from Vasco da Gama. First game in Fiorentina colors. Oh, Biragi. What are you doing, Biragi? Pedro Obiang. What an introduction. Igor does so well. Can't get it out, though. Guideferel. Raggy Catch the video. Oh, look at Telly. Lopez. Oh, he gets past Tyson Magno. Oh, Toby Watson saves. Another corner here. 78 minute. Oh, what a corner. It's right in. It hits the post. Out of absolute. Look at this. Wow. So... Sassuolo coming to life, but here is Thales Magno, and that's a great ball. Biragi, into space, Kuwame. Found it, it's in. Thales Magno, Thales Magno, Thales Magno on his debut. Wow, he scored here in the 79th minute, and Fiorentina are up 2-1. Oh, we already have coordinated group celebrations. Loving bringing the Brazilian flair over here. Thales Magno. Right place, right time. He makes a great pass to set it off. Biragi over to Kuwame. He squares it. Vlahovic's shot is saved. But there he is on the rebound. Your eyes may look weird, but good, good feelings. Straight to Christian Kuwame. Takes his time. Thales Magno. Jimmy Avia. What a stop. Thales Magno must get an assist. Bande. Oh, they need to stop Bande. That's a foul. Ref, he says advantage. Caputo turns. And it's wide. It is just wide here at the death. It's with Thales Magno again. And Thales Magno. He chips a keeper. Thales Magno. Oh, no. This kid is a legend in the making. He comes off the bench in his first performance, his first game in Serie A. He scores a double, including an incredible chip here. Fiorentina 3, Sassuolo 1. A legend is born. Look at this. Of course, Sassuolo packed back now as they're trying to get an equalizer. But look at this. Brilliant stuff from Thales Magno. 
Well, look at that. It is 3-1 now. And Fiorentina, the last 16 minutes, they score three goals. They win here 3-1. But Thales Magno with a double off the bench, scoring all his goals in about 10 minutes, 10, 50 minutes of play. He's getting congratulated. Great stuff. All right, and with that, we're up into eighth. We take on Milan next. That's a big one considering we're basically on the same amount of points. And a victory here could propel us potentially into fifth place. Juventus having a poor season so far. All right, so definitely something a bit different today. We're going for basically a 4-5-1 kind of. Miraji, Martinez, Azier, Milenkovic across the back line. I'm putting Milenkovic there because I want to be able to deal with Ante Rebic down that left wing. All right, Milan Fiorentina. Throw in here, so back to Orkun Kokchu. Chimievia lays it off. Castavilli, ooh, strike. Was out in a flash. Played in. Biraji. Oh, Chimievia. And it's 1 0. <laughs> Chimi, he cannot be stopped. This guy is a talisman. Fiorentina have a 1 0 lead here at the San Siro. Look at this. Castrovilli over to Biraji. A great cross inside. His 10th assist, I believe, this season. And look at that from Chimi. Great control. Great finishing off the post. And with that, Fiorentina have a lead. After barely six minutes. Don't think we've heard all from Milando. They come right back. Oh! Okay. Krunic. And it's 1-1. They were pissed that we scored. They were really angry that we scored. <laughs> like, that play was ridiculous. The computer was pissed off. Look at this. Wow. Okay, 1-1. One, one. Kunic, who scored. Ah, no. Then it's at the turn. Oh, my God. What a save by Jagowski. Rebic. It's a great ball through Kessi. Everyone, oh, Dragowski. Oh my God, and Zatan is supposed to on the second attempt. Finds Biragi. Into Pulgar. Kwame. Kokchu. Pulgar. Kastavili. Dusavlavich, what a touch. Oh, I... Ma ah, Milenkovic, great challenge. Ah, Kessi. And here's Ante Rebic. Zatan. Krinic, who scored the goal. Pulgar. Smart foul. Zatan! Oh my god, Dragowski. And how is Zatan there again? You know what? We're going to move Kuwami into an attacking position and bring on... You know who it is? Talis Magno. And there he is. He's all anyone is talking about these days in Serie A. Great job by Rabbi Ragi. And here's Vavich. And Vavich finds Kwame. Who actually finds Talis Magno. Oh, Talis on the corner. He's still going on. <laughs> Almost. Actually, Milan back the other way now. But Samu Kasti had trouble bringing him the ball down Kunic they finally exploit a gap and there's so many players forward now Rebic oh, not a good header in the end it's cleared and there it is 1-1 one, one. 